Hey guys, my name is Kent and you're watching Diagraphics. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the pen tool inside Adobe Illustrator. And this will be a guide for people who are just starting out using the Adobe programs. So the pen tool is found over here and if you just click and hold you'll get these different options. So go to this arrow key and click it to get this panel over here. From here you see these different options. The pen tool, the add anchor point tool, the delete anchor point tool and the convert anchor point tool. So choose your pen tool and you can start by drawing a simple shape like this. Just click wherever you want the lines and close it when you're done. So from here you can go to the add anchor point tool to add an anchor point right here. And this can be manipulated by using the white arrow key. So just select this and then you can drag it up and down and whatever you want. The delete anchor point tool is doing the opposite, deleting anchor points. So if you have an anchor point you don't want, you can just delete it. The convert anchor point tool is used to curve the corners. So you can just hold and drag to curve like this. And by doing this, you can create some very complicated shapes. But instead of doing this, you can also draw the curve just straight away. So choose the pen tool and click wherever you want to start and you can just click and hold and drag. So by doing this you can achieve the same level of complicated shapes, like so. And if you want the stroke to be wider, you can go to the stroke option over here and just make the stroke a little more wide, like this. From here you can also choose which kind of corners you want your stroke to have. You can see if I draw a square like this, that the corners are really hard so if you don't want that, you can go to the corners menu and choose round join. So now the corners will be more round and looks a little more nice. This cap menu over here will do the exact same thing, but only for a line instead of a shape. So if you haven't closed it, like I have closed this square, so you only draw a line like this, you can choose the corners over here because it, had no, it has no corners. So you want to choose this cap over here. So choose the round cap and you'll get a line with round corners or round caps. From this menu you can also choose if you want it to be dashed, if you want it to have an arrowhead or if you want to scale the arrowhead. If I just take off this arrowhead, you can see down at the bottom there's also a profile. This will be the shape of the stroke. So maybe you want more like a brush stroke, you can choose this one and draw with that. And this will give more like a another style to your illustrations. So that is basically how you use the pen tool inside Adobe Illustrator. But before you go create your own shapes, I suggest you practice by loading up a very simple shape by going to file and place and just load up a picture of a very simple shape like this heart. I have chosen this thumbnail from a tutorial I have made. So I will do a quick trace of this heart right here. So click at the bottom. And I will click over here because it doesn't curve at this point. But now it curves, so I want to click here and hold and drag until the green line matches the outer edge of the heart. So just continue over here. And now you can see this handle is making this position of this line a little weird. So you can select this convert anchor point tool and drag down this handle or you can just hold down the ALT key which is the, the shortcut for it. So hold down the ALT key, click this handle and just drag it on place like this. Then click this anchor point to start here again and go through like this. So now this handle is sticking out like this and if I click over here you can see uh, that I get this odd shape. So now, once again, hold down the ALT and drag this handle on place. You could do it like this, but you could also do like this. You can see, now we are ended here and the handle is over here. You can just click this point again and the handle will disappear. So now you can click up again. Like this. And you just keep tracing until you get the perfect shape. For the sake of this video, I will just do this very quick. So now I have completed the shape of my heart. 
So now I can fill the inside instead of just being a stroke. So you can just convert these two by clicking this arrow. If you ever want to adjust one of these anchor points because you made a mistake or something, you can choose the white arrow key and choose the anchor point and now you can just drag these handles to where you want them to be. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these graphic design tutorials. Thank you for watching.